What's going on? This is Magic Mitch, and in this food adventure, I'm taking on a pizza that has 11 toppings on it. And once again, it's another showdown, another eat off between myself and my eternal eating rival, Eager Ethan, aka the putrid filth monger, aka the venomous swine, aka the nauseating nuisance, aka the one who disgracefully consumes, aka the son of Steve. And for this fourth challenge of this winter tour, I'm at Pizza Rita in Spokane, Washington, taking on their five pound pizza challenge. Now, as I just mentioned, this pizza has 11 toppings total. As for the meat toppings, you've got pepperoni, Italian sausage, sliced ham, bacon pieces, and ground beef. Then for the vegetables, you've got onions, mushrooms, olives, green peppers, pineapple, and sliced tomatoes, which because this pizza was already just jam packed full of toppings, both myself and Ethan were able to get our tomato slices off to the side. Now a nice little perk with this challenge is that substitutions can be made with this challenge, but the overall weight of this pizza still has to be 5 pounds total. Now for this pizza challenge, there is a 30 minute time limit and it still costs $26 up front. But if you're able to complete the challenge, check this out. You get a free shirt and your picture up on the wall of fame, which is all nice and well but then you also get $50 in Rita bucks. But thanks to the owner, he said we'd be able to get this in cash instead, which was greatly appreciated as it helps cut the expenses for the trip, but it doesn't stop there. But wait, there's more. Cause you also get a $50 donation to a local charity of your choice, which I gotta say is one of my top favorite rewards to see. But wait, there's more. Because there's also a jackpot with this challenge where $10 is added for every failed attempt of this challenge. And at the time, it was $100, but I'm sure you can guess who just cleaned up on that right away. But it's all good, because all of that goes towards cutting the cost of the trip expenses. Now, I don't know about you, but when it comes to pizza, this supreme style type of pizza, it's not exactly on the top of my list. And that's because I find it to be heavier on the toppings and there's usually not enough crust or cheese to hold it all together. And then it just turns into one big messy pile as it all just falls apart. But hypothetically, if I had to eat a Supreme Pizza, I'm fairly okay with this one. I actually thought it was pretty good. The toppings were great, and you had enough cheese and dough to hold most of those toppings together. And not just have some big messy pile like I mentioned before, just where it all comes apart. I also liked having the tomatoes off to the side for this reason as well. And also, it did make it easier just to pop in a slice every once in a while, which I would use as a palate cleanser to change up the flavors. So when it comes to this eating rivalry with this uber goober sitting next to me, in any normal circumstances, I'd have nothing to fear because I know I would wipe the floor with him, just like I did earlier in this trip with the Bami sandwich in Minnesota. But these were no ordinary circumstances because as I had mentioned in the previous video, I unfortunately came down with the flu. By the way, thanks again, Randy. And even though the worst of it was past me, or at least enough to where it'd be up to taking on this pizza challenge, I still wasn't too sure about any lingering effects and if they'd affect my magical food fighting abilities. But I know that if I back down from this one, he would never let me hear the end of it. So of course, I decided to take this one on and I needed to bolster my abilities. And with this being a pizza challenge, that means suiting up with the pizza socks as well as my trusty turtle armor. I can only imagine the immense levels of eagerness surging through Ethan's veins right now as he finally gets the best of me in this food adventure. I bet he was just feeling absolutely peachy about all of this. And to be honest, I knew that my chances of beating him in this one was slim to none. I was already pushing my luck by even attempting any of these challenges. But with that being said, congratulations to eager Ethan, aka the rancid gorger, on the win. As for myself, I continued on because this battle was far from over. So, uh, yeah, if you couldn't already tell, I started to slow down real quick at this point, and things were getting a bit more rough, as my body just continued putting up more of a fight as time went on, which then took more effort to get this pizza down with each bite I took, 
I think my lovely facial expression here honestly tells you everything you need to know about the situation at hand. It was definitely a grind. Not quite the position I thought I was going to be in this one, but I kept at it, chewing my way through and continuing to press forward. And at this point, flavor fatigue was also starting to creep in, but between the trusted dyed cola and the tomatoes, that was proving to be enough of a mix up on the flavors to at least keep it manageable. And since I didn't want to wait to the very end to eat the remaining bits of toppings, I decided to save some of the crust to the very end, which surprisingly, I still found it enjoyable with the diet coke. Okay, so I'll be the first to say that even with my less than ideal circumstances, I didn't think that things were going to play out quite like that. And yeah, it sucks that Ethan has another challenge over me, but at the end of the day, I got the win. And really what's most important here is that if you enjoyed the video, and if you did, you don't have to stop now. So check out another video by clicking or tapping on the screen or on one of the links in the description down below, and I'll see you there.